Hi, my name is Jeremy and I'm a product manager for Google Local Search. Let's talk a little bit about how we rank sites in Google. Um, here's an example of a query. Our museums are in Central Park. There are three things that we need to take into account when we do, when we give results to a search. The topicality of the question, as in what is it you're looking for, the distance from where you're searching, and the prominence of the business. So in this query, we want to return to you, our museums are actually near Central Park. If I go and remove, for example, the word Central Park, oops, the word Central Park, then the distance portion of the query changes, and now we can show you different businesses. If I change from art museums to history museums, then now we're going to show you a different set of museums. How do we decide the order in which the museums are shown? Some of it's the distance, some of it's the relevance of the queries we just mentioned, and some of it's the prominence of the actual business. For example, in this case, the American Museum of Natural History is the most famous history museum in New York, so it should always be first. So how does Google get this information? Well, distance we can calculate in a straightforward manner. But the other two, the prominence of the business and the um, relevance to your query, are harder to calculate. Now we use information from all over the web. As this um, form entry mentions, sometimes the information on Wikipedia could be spammy, as can information anywhere on the internet. It's our job to ensure that the best data quality, the data we use, is accurate and free of spam and other problems. So we are aware of the fact that sometimes Wikipedia can be spammy, and we are doing the best we can to remove the, the spam information, the irrelevant information, from our business. Now, what if you know that there's a problem with your particular business? If you go to, if you click on a business, and then you go to the more link here in the bottom right-hand corner, at the bottom you'll see report a problem. I'll go ahead and click on that. And now I'm given a form where I can enter information about what I think is wrong with that business. We ask our users, if you see something that you know is a problem, please use this method to tell us you think there's a problem, and we'll review it and adjust our, our information accordingly. Thanks for the question.